What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got a uh, another what's in the box video for today. It's not this, but it's part of what we're going to be talking about today. The uh, auto transport trailer uh, from Ravel. I have an unboxing video of this on the channel. I'll put a link in the description. But it's going to go with this. It's uh, not necessarily a new kit. It's uh, recently released uh, all new tooling. Round two uh, seeked out one of these kits and retooled all new tooling on this thing. It's supposed to be a really nice build. I had pre-ordered this one from Model Roundup uh, some time ago. I mean, it's been out, what, six, six months maybe, maybe more? I don't remember. But my idea was this was going to go with that transport trailer that we just showed you that's going to host um, six cars that I built specifically for this. My idea was that it was going to be a, a, a transport hauling lowriders to a car show. Here's the six cars that I've built for this. I've finished those and now it's time to get into this guy. Oh, this is uh, it's going to be a bit of work. Big project I'm taking on over 250 pieces but i've watched a lot of videos and seen pictures of people's builds and facebook it's supposed to be a really clean build uh there's a youtuber that says that this is probably the best kit he's seen for someone that's never done a semi before so that's me that's definitely me so we will uh crack this thing open see what's inside and get ready to start building up on the channel. I wanted to talk about that briefly. Uh, the videos on the channel, I had been doing um, time lapses of the build process, and I, I think I'm gonna stop doing that. I found that it created a lot of pressure for me in the creating of it. Uh, it, it turned it into a job. It sucked all the fun out of it. I was always worried about, do I get the shot right? Is it in sequence? Am I showing what needs to be shown? Is the battery gonna die? Blah, blah, blah. And it turned into kind of a pressure project. And I, I did a test. Uh, the last three builds that I've done, the Impala, the Wasteland Vic thing, the El Camino, uh, and a couple of the bikes, I didn't film them. I mean, I took pictures and did a snapshot slideshow, but I didn't film them as I has been, have been, and it made it a lot more enjoyable for me. So I apologize if you guys like that, but I don't think I want to do that anymore. It just, it sucks all the fun out of it for me. So I'll continue to do unboxings and uh, build up slideshows, but I think that style is probably going to go the way of the dodo so without much more yakking let's uh this thing barely fits in the frame it's it's a heavy box so let's uh pop the top flip it check it i can already see i mean i should have done that before i flipped it just the packaging style is so nice, the way they've got everything protected really well. Ooh, this feels like some good plastic. It almost feels like resin plastic does. So, uh, oh boy, I'll clear the decks. Make some room. It's going to be a big one. Uh, since it's already out in the way, let's, let's just jump right to the cab. Whoa, hello. Everybody still there? Experiencing some technical difficulties. My tripod is, uh, it's seen better days. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it might be time for, time for a new tripod for this. So, anyways, look at this cap. It's really good looking. It, I mean, wow, everything's super crisp. Nice, nice uh, panel lines. Good raised details on everything. And like I said, I've, I've never built a semi. I played with that trailer that I built for the Porsche race team, but uh, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. And then the interior of the cab, 
part of it anyway, is a whole separate piece. And I did see on the box, and I've seen other people's builds, uh, did it, here, reaching for things off camera. I don't know if it'll show that or not, it's just so big. It's got a detailed sleeper, but you can't see it. So I'm gonna open those windows up and maybe even put a sunroof in it so that you can see the detail that I'll want to put inside. Um, we'll, we'll look at that as the build goes, but I'm pretty sure I wanna do that much at least. So moving forward, we'll get into the, wow, neat instruction sheet that's huh this is just a big statistics list of the truck itself or tractor am i saying it right i don't know i'm not a semi guy wow that's pretty cool it shows all the actual dimensions of the real vehicle axle types that, wow, that's that's pretty neat. You don't see that in normal kits, you know. And then, oh, also very cool. Different uh, OEM paint scheme types, which I won't be following any of. Or, ooh, actually, maybe I will. I just opened a can of blue that is really nice. But that green and gold also looks good. The idea is that it has to pop. It has to go with those six cars that I showed you earlier. So it's got to pop. Uh, and I noticed on the, the, pull this one back over here real quick, the transport, this will also pop in a matching color and it's got this placard billboard on the side of it. I will create something in Photoshop, a uh, custom, <coughs> custom logo. J cat hauling or something. I don't know. Who knows? No, oh, this is a big manual. Everything looks really crisp, crisp, sharp drawings. And like I said, the research that I've done, it shows really definitive locations and how things are assembled. Like the trailer that I did build, I noticed that it was pretty lacking. It was, uh, they, did, they hired a caveman to do it. Let's see if we can find the portion with the cab tilting. It's supposed to have a tilt nose. Yeah. Yeah. It even shows you a little painting instructions. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. Uh, I, like I said, I had pre-ordered this uh, specifically for those kits. I had the trailer first and I thought, well, I'm going to need a truck to pull them. And then this thing was released. I'm like, okay, sold. So let's get into the decals. Kind of excited to see what it has. Like that transport truck, transport trailer, had a bunch of really neat things. It had these, um, I scanned these and made copies of them. It have the uh, dealer tags, you know, that shows, you know, the miles per gallon and blah, blah, blah. Uh, it also had these safety chevron things and some other stuff that I've been using on other kits. So let's see what's in this. Ooh, pretty. Wow, those look really good. Oh, cool. Yeah, those will definitely be getting scanned. Look at the license plate selection. And those are like, I guess, state inspection stickers. Tons of different numbers, uh, DOT stuff for the side of the vehicle, interior console. Very cool, very cool indeed. Those are those are some good looking decals. And like I said, one of the YouTubers I saw the way he painted his, it was pretty forgiving because you've got a lot of decal space to cover up your your paint job. Them. Yeah, keep those in decent shape until I scan them, and then it's open game. Let's just jump right into these big old tires. Wow, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten of these. Ow! Ow! 
safety first. Just get one out and take a look at it. Ooh, yeah. Nice, nice rubber. It's solid. It's an open wheel. So getting the open tire, getting the wheels on and off will be a, won't be a chore. Good looking tread pattern. It's got some raised detail on the on the lettering. You could paint that up. It it's a Goodyear something something dot something. <coughs> Ten of those. Well, that'll be cool. And we'll get into these multiple bags. Safety first. I'm kind of looking forward to this one because, like I said, uh, I repeat myself, it is a new tooling. Uh, the research that I've done, by research I mean reading people's posts on Facebook and Google, <laughs> put on my internet researcher hat, it's supposed to be a really clean build. Wow, those are, I can just tell already, these are really, really crisp parts. All of the outlines and details and stuff that sticks out just feels good. It feels really clean. I see zero flash. Absolutely zero. I don't see any big ugly mold lines or anything. So this is promising to be a clean build. Might take me a while. Uh, again, going back to the time lapse thing, I, I don't want to involve that into it. I will for sure take you know uh, clean pictures, snapshots of it, and sequence those into a uh, slideshow. But not going to be done videoing like I have been. It just it just sucked the fun out of it for me. Sorry guys. So here's the uh, big frame rails. Let's remove this stuff so that it's not in the shot. Put it over there with my coffee. The interior floor has a nice texture to it. The bed, the sleeper bed has some wrinkles like the wrinkled sheet that's made up with hospital corners <laughs> that's awesome so yeah like i said i for sure want to cut a hole in these so you can see all the extra details that i'll put in there you know litter some uh, pbr cans and skull cans and pea buckets and the, the girly magazines <laughs> it makes realism look at that frame it just looks really good you know it's nice and attached solid so it's Probably not going to have a bunch of warpage to it. And there's that big motor. Again, prominent elevations. Everything looks nice and cleaned with the registry pins. Looks like assembly of that will be nice. We'll start a pile up here. Next, the last large tree. Looks like more engine components and there's the hook the uh, what is that called the gooseneck hitch I, I don't know again not a semi guy a huge transmission good lord that's just ginormous and, uh, the intake the tur turbo charger I guess supercharger I didn't know that these vehicles were all supercharged I mean it makes sense big old beast I gotta push down the road pull down the road I should say the fan the fan is like almost the size of pardon my reach just a, <laughs> even the steering wheel is the size of an actual wheel <laughs> one piece exhaust a nice solid one piece exhaust that'll be the assembly will be really clean on that Looks like the cab back oh, with some more details that wouldn't be seen once you put it together. Curtains and, you know, a pull down uh, privacy shade. And the smaller bag of not, not chrome parts. I don't know, words. A lot of plastic. 250 parts. Oh, I think it said over 250. Wow, those are good looking wheels. Wow, 
really good detail in there. I mean, all the inner rim just looks fantastic. The battery top, so you could paint it in a different color and not have a bunch of bleed all over the place. Some airbags and shocks. And looks like probably wheel backs. One seat. And well, these parts trees actually look identical. Identical. Which movie? They are. These are. I'll say it again. Identical. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, they even fit together like they're exactly the same. Let's get into the two chrome trees. Starting with what looks like the stacks. And come on, get out of there. Gimme. Yep, the stacks, some wheels, mirrors, bumper. Good looking chrome. Good looking chrome. Doesn't look all like it was applied with a toothpaste, toothbrush. Solid windshield wipers, uh, chrome lights, you know, paint a little orange and a little red, transparent red or orange on those, they look great. The only part I'm not liking is that <sighs> when you glue those together, it will fog. Uh, I'll have to look into maybe a different type of glue. If you know of a good trick for that, hit me up in the comments. They're down here somewhere. They're down under here. I don't know. Down below. Too careful. Tiny bits. It's surprisingly not that many tiny bits to it. Wow, look at that big, glorious grill. The International. That will uh, black wash up nice. And so will these. What is that some protective heat shield or something? Headlight buckets, uh, handles, door handles, uh, fuel tanks, some uh, entry assistant handles, more grill. Wow, that just looks really good. Kind of started to have a new appreciation for chrome parts. I didn't used to. It kind of would easy off of them and paint them up and they look good on some kits so we're going to leave these in the bag the last bag the clears single piece front windshield and two side windows for the side of the cab oh idea i could use those for the rear windows leave those down or maybe find a piece in my parts bag to at least get the, the wing windows. I wish they still put those in cars. Oh wait, no, okay, cool. Yeah, the single piece has the wing windows, so I can use these for the rear window for when I cut that hole open. And I'll have to find a piece to, for that back one, because that that is going to make a big difference in being able to see inside of it. I'm only disappointed in, in kits like vans or something that has a big area where you can make a cool display, but then once you put it together, you can't see it. Like all the work we put on just the dashboards, you know, <laughs> once, you, once you assemble a thing, you can't see it. So, that's, uh, looks like it's going to be a fun build. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I know that, again, like I said, the research that I've done says that this is the, maybe the best kit out there for someone that hasn't done a semi. Now I'll go with this. Have to figure out a paint scheme for both. Get them both painted up. And that about does it for the AMT International Harvester. Transstar CO4070A. Uh, brand new kit, brand new tooling. Should 
be a fun build. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe. Feel free to comment. Let me know if you've built one of these, or any tips or tricks. Um, that, that about does it. Thanks for watching.